All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP laptop model 14-DQ1033CL. So we're going to be using a JS1 uh, screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. There were rubber feet here and here, so you got to peel them up. I just used my fingernail at the edge and peel it up, but it's already peeled up. All right, so if you don't really care about the looks at the bottom, you can actually just leave the rubber feet like this. Um, and then that way you always have access to the screws. You want to keep the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and length. So I put them flat side down like that. On my desk in the pattern, I remove them. So we've got three here, two here, and then we got three more here. Okay. So three underneath this rubber foot, one under this rubber foot. Okay. So let's get them all out. Okay, and I'm going to remove these three here. Okay, now that we got all the screws out, we're going to remove the bottom cover. So usually the way I do that, I go in here and then at the edge of the palm rest, there's a little gap there between the palm rest and this. So I'll get my fingernails in there and I'll push with my thumbs on the back while pulling with my fingernails in the gap. Just like that, you can see how it popped up. And we're just gonna go all the way around doing this, all right? If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Oops, that's hard to get. Where's the little groove there? Okay, I was trying to find the groove, the gap here. It's hard. Come on, come on. Why is this side stuck? There we go. Okay, so we got all that. And then the back portion, you kind of just got to wiggle it like that once you get the the edges here and everything out there we go <clears throat> all right so here you can see um they actually got an m.2 pca nvme ssd here this was upgraded i believe all right and then we got two sticks of ram here to get the ram out pull these two tabs to the side pops up you can pull this out and this is a pc4 2666 sorry 2666 v all right, you can use any PC4 2666V RAM. This has a four gig stick, I guess two four gig sticks. If you want, you can put two 16 gig sticks or probably even two 32 gig sticks. CPU soldered to the motherboard, so you can't replace it unless you have special tools and stuff. Wireless cards here, all right, right there. You got the fan here, three screws, connectors here. This kind of connector you get underneath and then you can pop it straight up, but be careful. Make sure you're only popping up the connector part that's in the middle, not the outer frame part that's holding it in place because the outer part is what holds this little piece in there. And if you pry that up, you won't be able to get this back in. All right, SD card slot. These kinds of connectors have these little flip latches to pull out. Speaker here, speaker here. This connector's here, same thing underneath from the back where the wires are going in and pop just that up make sure you're only popping up the in inner piece the black part not this grayish area okay keyboard connector here keyboard backlight connector there keyboard um, trackpad sorry trackpad cable there and then there's a slot here that you can probably put a hard drive if you get a special adapter and you can plug it in there it looks like all right anyways we're just replacing the battery here so let's get all these screws out and hopefully that will fix the issue. They said it's not charging. It's been sitting for a long time. So most likely the battery sat at 0% too long and stopped holding a charge. Two screws there, two screws here. And we'll get those out. Okay, now you got those four screws. We'll go under here and just pull this straight up swings up like this and comes out just like that all right this battery actually looks nice and new but 
If it's been sitting too long at 0%, it's not going to hold the charge anymore. All right, so we're going to cut this new one open. And hopefully this battery will solve the issue, because if not, I don't know. All right, we got all of that out. Tear this open. And all this plastic. Pop this out. Oh wow, well, this is... Why is it so hard to get this open? It's going to tear. Okay, I'm going to get this flat tool in there. Did they glue it? Or... Okay, no, it's just... It's just this tab is really hard to get out. There we go. Okay, so we got that out. Open this up. And here's the battery. Looks like that. We don't need the tools in there. Simple to put back. Just line this back up. Okay, line all of this back up. Make sure that the battery connector here lines up and then just push it down. I like to also pull these two together to make sure it's good, and then we'll just get the screws back in. All right, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy to do. Oh, battery model number if you need is, well, I'll show you the other. HT03XL, okay. Let's get this all in. Alright, so here we go, there you go, that's the inside, we'll get a screenshot there, and we're just going to put this back together now. Um, the battery also acts as a CMOS BIOS battery, so keep that in mind, because um, once you remove the battery, it's going to take a little while to boot up usually, okay? We're going to pop the bottom in first, I'm using my palms and just pushing down like that, going around, and then work our way up, and go. Okay, and then we'll get all these screws in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their device as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows you to continue making videos for, allows me to continue making videos for a living. Sorry. All right. Okay, last screw, and then we'll power it up. And we'll flip this over. And power this on. Does it gonna power on? Do I need to plug it in? Okay, I probably need to plug this in first because I think the batteries did. This model is like a. Oh, well, actually, it's on already, so you can see the power lights on. Um, so, like I said, the BIOS is probably resetting itself. I thought the button had a light here, but it doesn't. Um, a lot of these HP models have this, but I guess this is a very minimal bare bones model. Okay, so still just on a black screen. Power light is showing on still. If it doesn't turn on after several minutes, you might want to check the RAM, but there you go. All right, showing the CMOS has been reset. We'll press enter to continue, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, again, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their device as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Again, every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. As you can see, it's messed up. It says 4.01 a.m. Friday, September 23rd. It is like April 9th or something, and it's like past midnight. Uh, April 9th, 12.35 a.m. All right, so that's pretty much it. I just got to plug this in and make sure it charges, and we should be good to go. Um, it's working on battery power, so... I think that's already a good sign because I think their battery wasn't working at all before and they always had to leave it plugged in. So 
yep I'm just gonna plug this in overnight and double check the charge level and we should be good to go all right i'll see you guys in the next one all right plug this in and it shows it's plugged in all right let's drop this bike